Hey everyone, welcome on site. We are at our Coney View Island Cottage Project. We're doing another team site visit here. I'm Alex Forshu. let's get it started. So this lot is 4.91 acres. It has 300 feet on Lake Joseph. It does face east, so the sun is behind me right now, but you'll see throughout this project how we're maximizing those sunset views. I'm standing on the Boathouse Bridge right now, so let's start with this project. So I am standing on the dock right now. I'm in the middle of Lake Joe. This dock is actually one foot less in width than the biggest dock that you can build in Muskoka Lakes. So this is 66 feet deep and this is 74 feet wide. We have three enclosed slips. We have some boat storage space, dry boat storage space on the lower level. We have 650 square feet of living quarters above. And in that boat storage space, we actually have a two story open to above space. So you will notice on this property that all four buildings have a very transitional design aesthetic. So transitional meaning between contemporary modern and traditional. And what we like to do and what I believe in is that transitional is actually traditional roof shapes and forms and functions with modern and contemporary materials. So you'll actually see right behind me is this extremely large cantilever for this upper deck. So this I would consider a more contemporary modern detail. You'll actually see a lot of cantilever details throughout the project, a lot of corner glass, which we achieved by doing a lot of structural steel and some of the other details that you'll see, a very cool, very sleek fascia design, which will all be wrapped in black aluminum composite panel. On all of these projects, we have a flat soffit made of hemlock, but we we also have an extrusion with a built-in LED that will emit this very soft glowing light. We wanted the entire project from the lake to not have light in your eyes, but to have this very cool glowing effect. contractor for this project is Hummingbird Hill Homes. They're originally from Oakville, but they have started a North Division. So if you have a cottage, boathouse needs, I would definitely reach out to Aaron at Hummingbird Hill Homes. So as you can see on a lot of these projects, you'll see a green exterior facade. That is the zip system. And this particular product has an R factor, so it's insulated sheathing. And why we really like to spec this product is it eliminates a lot of the thermal bridging when we have a lot of steel involved in the structure. So right now, I'm standing over that huge cantilevered section where we saw earlier in the video when we were down on the dock. I just wanted to go over a couple specs here. We have five quarter by six EPE decking both on the upper deck and the lower dock. This is the open to below space right here, and you can see these corner glazing units, where the aluminum composite metal panel will be, where the LED lighting will be coming around. All around this upper deck is gonna have glass guards. It's gonna be integrated into a shoe detail. This is a big lift and slide door. It pushes out of the way, and this is where you're gonna be wanting to be all summer long. So another detail I wanted to point out here, we integrate this on a lot of our projects. It's called a knife edge trim detail. This is actually a very rigid piece of aluminum. It's all powder coated in the factory black. And in between here, we will also have an aluminum composite metal panel that will be sandwiched between the two knife edges. I like to incorporate this into a lot of our projects where we have windows butting each other and we don't want a lot of small pieces of siding and we want to have this nice black band around all of the glazing. So that's it for the boathouse. There will be more details to come, but we'll follow those later. Let's move up to the cottage. Now we're at the walk outside of the cottage and that's facing the lake. This is a very interesting detail. It took a lot of structural engineering, a lot of unique and intricate thought process to pull off, but you will see that the lower level is actually inset from the main floor. We have a 24 inch cantilever here and both levels at the top and the bottom are both corner glazed units. We have a lot of structural steel here in order to pull this off. And then on the top of the main level, we have a four foot overhang that is supported by structural steel as well. 
I believe that this detail has never been done in Muskoka before and it's gonna be absolutely amazing. Now we're standing up here at the cottage. This cottage is 7,300 square feet. It's a two-story cottage, one level at grade at the back of the cottage, and it's a walkout at the front. So this cottage has six bedrooms, six full baths, and two half baths. Why we named it Coney View Island Project is because there is an island out on Lake Joseph called Coney Island. When we came on this site and when we lined up where we wanted the cottage and what views we wanted to achieve, when we walk through the front door, we see Coney View Island and it's framed in a big picture window. One of the many focuses that we designed into this project was we wanted to extend all these social spaces for our clients to enjoy, but also have their family close so they can enjoy the social spaces and see this extensive view of Lake Joseph. Right now I'm standing on the subfloor of the Muskoka room. Let's go for a quick tour of the main floor. Now I'm standing on the foundation that's been poured for this two-story garage that's relatively close to the house. So this lower garage has three bays and can hold six cars. Upstairs has unlimited amount of space for our clients to store things. So as we go through our team visits and as this becomes more constructed, you'll be able to see more of this garage. So also in front of me, about 150 feet away, we have a sports pavilion that's going to be attached to an existing sport court. It is not constructed yet, but you'll see it in future videos. Thanks everyone for following us around on our Coney View Island project. As this project progresses, there will be more videos, but for now, I'm going to warm up in the truck. <laughs>